So, I guess you could say, like, Happy New Year's, maybe? I don't know. Happy New Year's. Um, so this is my 2010 favorites video. I think after this I'm going to film a outfit of the day or maybe a vlog. I don't really know. So, anyways, my, I'm having my hair, my poor hair today. It won't do anything. So I just put it in a poof and the poof looks bad. So, like for a bad poof. Just kidding. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So I have quite a bit to show you guys. And I have like, wait, do you see these like hairs right here? Like. I don't understand where I get these from. I think I know why, and I'll show you guys, because I think it's, I don't know if I did the video yet or not, but it's like a throughout the years video, and I think I talk about it in one of my videos. If not, I definitely will. And I also have a problem with like slouching when I do my videos, so it makes me look really short, and then like when I sit up, it makes me look really tall. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and get started, because I have quite a bit. All right, so the first two or three are going to be, um, like, Scent products, like smelly products, I guess you could say. The first one is Dark Kiss by Bath and Body. And I know this bottle looks really full, but this is my new bottle. I also have a big bottle, and then I have another little bottle that's pretty much like empty. So I was just going to show you guys the entire bottle because I just got this for Christmas. But I do have, I promise, I do use this, and I have a bottle that's pretty much almost empty. So it smells so good, and this is like my top fragrance that's been in my bag forever, like since it first came. I went and got it the day it came out, and that's how long it's been like in my bag. So quite a long time. All right, the next one is the pink, or the next two are the pink um, Victoria's Secret ones, and this one is sweet and flirty, and it smells so good. I love this one. It smells delicious. And then the next one is Pink's Fresh and Clean. And this one smells amazing. I'm actually wearing this one right now. So this is what I smell like right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's like a hair like flying around my face and it's making me like really itchy. <laughs> okay, the next one that's like a scent product or like a smelly product, not something that you can physically spray on yourself, but it's something that you can smell in your room or in your house. And it is a Yankee Candle candle. A Yankee Candle candle. But that's what it's called. Like, it's a Yankee candle. A Yankee candle. And it's a candle. So I guess you can say, like, Yankee candle candle. But it's frosty air, and it smells so good, guys. It's delicious. I got this for Christmas, and this has been burning in my room ever since Christmas. So I guess you can pretty much put it on a 2010 favorite video. And if you guys want to know where you can get this, just you can get this at a Yankee candle store. Or you can go to yankeecandle.com and order it from there. They have them in little jars, medium jars big jars, this is a big jar, or, yeah, this is called, what is this called? I don't even know what this is called. It's like, I think it's like their large jar or something. And you can also get them in tumblers, tarts, votives, all that stuff. So they have a ton of them. And when I light this in my room, I usually light it on my vanity. And by the way, that's the vanity I got for Christmas right there. Right there. It looks, it smells really good. Just kidding. It looks really cute in my room, and I love it. So, yeah. Um, but it's been sitting on my vanity, and I usually light this every single night, and it smells up my entire house, and that is a big job for such a, like, a little candle to do, and because my, the walk from, like, my vanity table to, like, my front door, like, my room to my front door is a really long walk, and I'm pretty sure that this smells up my entire house, like, every room in my house, and that's a lot of work for a candle to do. So... The next one, so that's like my top candle that I've been burning. My mom even went out and bought like a small jar of it. And I was like, you copycat. But anyways. Alright, the next one's kind of like a frivolous item. Well, I guess you really couldn't say like a frivolous item because it is something that we should all take and we should all like be healthy and take it. And I like to say that I'm healthy, but I'm really not, like I'm healthy in the way that I'm not sick or anything. But I don't really eat healthy. I try to. I try to say I eat healthy, but... In all reality, I don't, and I know I don't. I should eat better, but I'm just too lazy sometimes to really, like, take the time to make myself a good lunch or good breakfast. But, I don't know, my dinners are always healthy because my mom and dad make them. But these are my vitamins, and they are definitely on my 2010 favorites video. I stopped taking these for a really long time because I used to, like, forget that my mom and dad bought them for me because they would sit, like, in the, ca or the cabinet in my kitchen, and I would forget about them. So now they sit on my dresser and over there, <laughs> over that way. 
And I pretty much can see them every day after dinner when I walk in here. And I'm like, oh, let's take my vitamins. So I take my vitamins. So it's pretty much almost empty. And it has so many vitamins in this. It has, like, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K. I don't know. I've been, like, a bunch of words I don't know how to say. Folic acid. Biotin, pantho, I don't know how to say it. Iron, magnesium, zinc, selenium, copper, magne, magne, I don't know. Chrom chromium. I should know these because these are like science terms and I am a science nerd. So, I really am. Like, I'm not even joking. I really am a science nerd. Like, the science class I'm in, I don't really like that much. But, like, if it's like chemistry or anatomy or anything basically like science or to like mix chemicals i am the biggest nerd when it comes to that but i think it'd be cool to be like a research scientist hey the next are nail products and i have quite a bit of these so hold on okay the first one is my sally hansen just the clear top coat and it is sally hansen's if you guys can see that super shine and this stuff works so good. If you guys want to get a, su a sorry for that glare back there, if you want to get a super shine or super shine, a top coat that's like really, I see I'm slouching again. A top coat that is really good and shiny. This is definitely one. If you don't want to spend like all the money on like an OPI one or a China glaze or something like that, you can definitely just get one of these and it works just as well. Okay, the next ones are NYC and this one is NYC's Big Apple Red. It's just a red. I had this one on Christmas and I really liked it. The next is Black Lace Cream by NYC. And this is actually what's on my fingers right now. And I love this color. I'm really into wearing black on my fingernails and I don't know why. Because I never used to be. I always used to wear like pink, 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 pink. But now I like to wear black on my fingernails. But I do change it sometimes. The next one is NYC's um, Starry Silver Glitter. Looks like that. It is so pretty. Do you see that? Do you see all the glitter in that? I think so. And if you want, it's I know for a fact it's still at Target. I saw this one yesterday. And I didn't see any of the other ones because they're pretty much wiped out on NYC nail polish. But um, it's 97 cents at Target. And if you want to, I know they still have it at the Target I shop at. But I don't know if they have it like at any of the other Targets in my back. So I like that one. The next one. My, I am so itchy today. Do you see this? I'm like itching everywhere. <laughs> All right, the next two are OPI, and this is OPI's Flash Bulb Fuchsia. It looks like that. This one was actually 50% off, so I like that. It looks like that. And this one's William Tell Me About OPI. Oh my goodness, I'm already at eight minutes. Wow. Okay, this one is the Manicure Cleanup Pen by Sally Hansen, and this has totally saved my life, literally. You should definitely try that. Okay, the next are makeup products, and I don't have that many of them, but I do have some. Okay, so the first is Mary Kay's Mineral Powder. This has been my top favorite pretty much for a really long time. I'm almost out of it. The next is NYC's Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder, and my color is 742A Naturally Beige. And my color on this one is Beige 1, but in the summer on Beige 2, because Beige 2 is darker, and then... And like the fall, winter time, I don't get that much sun, so I go down to a beige one. That kind of rhymed. Sun, one. I don't know the way I said it kind of rhymed. And then, now is lip products. The first one is Liplicious by Bath & Body, and it's this sheer cherry vanilla. And I love this. And this one I actually have on my lips now. It's the Burt's Bees um, Replenishing Lip Balm with Pomegranate Oil. This works so well, guys. It's like this. It works so well. I have such chapped lips right now because it's been cold, but today it's not cold, which I'm really mad about. And it's been working so good. This one is Mary Kay's Marishine Lip Gloss in Coral Rose. I'm actually wearing it right now, if you guys can see. It pretty much has, like, a color to it, which I really like. It's not just, like, a lip gloss. It has, like, a lip stain lipstick color, and it looks like that. It's a really, really pretty pink. I like that. The next one is the Maybelline Falsies um, Mascara. This is my go-to mascara for every single day, if you guys can tell, like, my lashes. Hopefully you guys can. Um, but they're so much, like, they look so much better than before, and I'm sorry to say that. Like, I feel like I'm bragging, but I really am not, like, 
I kind of mean at the same time just because this is such a great like mascara and I've never tried one that's this great. But um, it's also just really, I don't know, I like it. My color is blackest, very black, sorry. And look at the wand. Like the wand is so thick and it's just like the bristles are so spread out that it, they're so there's so many bristles on here and like they just kind of makes your lashes spread out I guess you could say okay the next is going to be makeup brushes I have a few here these actually came in a set in this brush roll right here which it's not even rolled because I was trying to show it in my video before this and my video didn't work out but when you roll it it looks like this and you tie it around and then you tie this one around as well and it looks like that and it came in that, and these are from PB Teen, and these are, I'll show you guys in a second. Um, these are my favorites that came in it. This one, too. Um, they also had face brushes, too, but the face brushes aren't really on my favorites list just yet. I'm not really used to them. They're not that, um, they're not really that soft as the eye brushes, but they're really good brands. And so now, these two are pretty much not, like, an actual brush that you like apply color with but this one I use a lot it is I use, I call it a mascara wand I don't know the exact term for this but I use it to like brush my eyebrows or um, spread out my lashes so this is, has like multiple duties this one is also one of my favorites I use this side over here to comb my um, eyebrows <laughs> I can't think of the name and then I use this side over here to spread out my lashes before I apply the mascara. And this one, I actually have another um, one to go with it. This is my old one. And look how beat up and worn this one is. This is like a cheapy one. And definitely you should try like one of these because this one has so many more bristles on it than the other one. And it just works really good. Alright, the next are physical brushes. I know why my face itches, because, like, the little hairs. Duh. <laughs> I'm really hyper. This one is a physical, like, these three are physical um, color application brushes. And this one I use to apply, like, my base color. So today when I did my look, which looks like this, um, I had to apply, like, a very sheer pink to the bottom to build up the color. And I used this one to uh, apply that color, and it works really good very precise you can also use it for like the inner corners or you know whatever you're doing this one is also one of my favorites I use this one for like an all-over color it looks like that and I just use this one pretty much for everything that I do this one I use for blending crease and highlighter and this is also a favorite looks like that okay the next four items are going to be just random. Actually, this is a makeup product. Okay, so this is my first Coastal Scents product. This is the Coastal Scents 88 Ultra Shimmer um, Eyeshadow Palette. This is honestly like my favorite product that I've gotten so far in makeup. I just love it. So that's a favorite. The next is the Lauren Conrad Style book. I read this in two days, and this is like a favorite book. This is my go-to book. I go to this for like any advice that I need for fashion, makeup, hair, whatever it is. The next is, I'm sorry I'm going really fast, but the next is the Cobalt 5 gum. This is absolutely my favorite gum that I've ever had in my entire life. And last but not least, oh, I have one more item after this. I have been loving wristlets lately, and this is my favorite one that I have. It is my... Um, coach one. It's a plaid pattern and it has the C's on it for coach. And I use this like when I go out somewhere unexpectedly and I don't want to bring my entire purse. So yeah. Alright, and last but not least is my slippers. I have been wearing, <laughs> this is really funny, I've been wearing these every single day since Christmas. I had a pair before this but they were really worn out. So I got a new pair for Christmas but I thought I'd show you guys the new pair. Yeah. So they're my favorite and I love them. So yeah. Hope you guys like this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye everyone.